We now continue with the last subtopic from chapter 9, differentiation, which is approximate values using differentiation. So now if we want to approximate the new value of y, we need to take the original value of y, add by the changes to the y. Then we can get the new values. But how do we get the sigma y, the changes in y? We learned this in the previous part, which is approximately equals to dy dx multiplies by sigma x. So this is the formula that we are going to use in this part. Okay, now, so we look at the examples. Given that y equals to 8 over x cubed, find the value of dy dx when x is equals to 2. Okay, this one is easy, we just... So a, find the dy dx, so... When x is equals to 2, x equals to 2. Now we go to question B. Find the approximate value of this. So if we compare this to this, you compare, you see y when y when x is equals to 2 in the first part, y is equals to 8 over 2 to the power of 3. Now given that 8 over 1.98 to the power of 3, if we compare, you can see that. If we let y equals to 8 over 1.98 to the power of 3, you will find that this, the original y, has changed to a new y when x changed from 2 to 1.98. So this one, we consider this as the original y. This one is the new y. And x here changed from 2 to 1.98. So sigma x equals to the new x minus the old x which is negative 0 0.02 and if we use this formula the new y which is the approximate value of this okay so new y equals to the y original New y is the, un the answer that we're looking for. y original is from here, the original one, which is 8 over 2 to the power of 3. dy dx is the value that we have just calculated. Sigma x is this negative 0.02. We calculate this. So the new x here is actually this 8, 1 .8 to the power of 3 which is approximately equals to you can use a calculator to check with this value given that y equals to x to the power of 1 over 3 find the approximate value of square root of 3 to 1002 so if you rewrite this this is 1002 to the power of 1 over 3 which is this so since you are given 1002, and we know that if x is 1000, it will be very easy for us to find the cube root of 1000. If we take x 1000, so the y will become 1000 to the power of 1 over 3, which is the cube root of 1000, which is 10. If we take this as the original y, and this value as the new y, where we use the formula y original plus dy dx sigma x then we can find the value of the new approximate value of this the y yes, what I mean is if this is the original y this is the new y hence the original y will be 10 and we only have to find the value of dy dx and the sigma x dy dx you can get from here so since y equals to x 1 to the power of 1 over 3 dy dx equals to 1 over 3 x negative 2 over 3 and x changes since we want to find the sigma x x changes from 1000 to 1002 so the x here we take the original value of x which is 1000 And then we find the answer, which is 1 over 300. 
sigma x means the changes of x. So x changed from 1000 to 1002. So the sigma x is the new value minus the old value, which is 0, 0, which is 2. You substitute in the value, you get the new y is this. You can use a calculator to check the answers, which approximately will be the same. Okay, question number three. A cuboid has a square base of side x centimeter and its height is x plus one centimeter. Find the approximate increases in its volume when x increases from five centimeter to 5.05. .05. Hence, deduce an approximate value for the volume when x is 5.05. .05. So cuboid has a square base. So we have a square base cuboid. Square, uh, square base means the length and the width has the same side, uh, same length and the height is x plus 1. Find the approximate change increase in its volume, so it means we need to find the sigma v, uh, the approximate increase in the volume. When x increases, means sigma x increases from 5 to 5.05. .05. So we take the new value minus the old value so the changes to the x is 0 0.05. In order to find sigma v, the changes to the volume, we use the previous formula approximately equals to dv dx times sigma x. Since we already have this value, we need to find dv dx. To find dv dx, first we need to find the relation between v and x, which is volume equals to length times width times height. To find dv dx, we differentiate v with respect to x, you get 3x squared plus 2x. And to, to find the value of this, you need to substitute the x with the, the previous value of x, which is 5. Substitute the values here, you get sigma v equals to 85 times 0 0.05, which is 4.25. But the question also asks to find the approximate value for the volume when x is 5.05. .05. So we just take, use the formula again, we, the new, the latest v equals to the original v plus the changes to v. So the original volume of V is when X is 5.05. .05. So we come back to this again. The original volume of V is where the original X is 5. Hence this is 5. Plus the sigma V. Sigma V is already calculated here, which is 4.25. So we take x, the original value of x, the new volume has a value of 154.25 unit cube.